Ceilings of Sound Pro by IAC is a very cool EQ plugin which helps you to find the best sound for your audio by using EQ matching. Full disclosure, IAC is the sponsor of this video. Link to the plugin is in the description below. The plugin takes the acoustic fingerprint of the audio track it is on and morphs its EQ to what is called a ceiling. This is a different acoustic fingerprint and can be either noise like brown, pink or white noise or one of the many sampled frequency curves of instruments, buses and more which are in the preset menu. You need to register the acoustic fingerprint of your track by letting the plugin run for a while and then press conform spectrum to ceiling so you can apply the other fingerprint, that so called ceiling of the sound. Now to use one of the many many presets of Ceiling of Sounds Pro, I prefer to use this workflow. Take the audio track you want to work on and select one of the presets. I always choose a preset which is already similar to the audio which is on the track to not get weird results, it's EQ after all. After the audio runs for a while, I press freeze and do conform spectrum to ceiling, which will then EQ match the current audio with the ceiling of the fingerprint you have chosen. The EQ curve shown in blue is all EQ adjustments the plugin has made to match the sound. This blue EQ curve can be adjusted as well. I always go in and fine tune the EQ changes, often in the very high and low end. What I really like about Ceilings of Sound Pro is that this EQ matching is not depending on the level of the source. It only adjusts the sound. Other EQ matching plugins often do a huge volume boost or reduction because the source and the audio you are matched are different. Let me demonstrate that with this bass. The tracks are identical except on the second one where I have boosted the level and EQ'd with 9 decibels at 440 Hz. I let it play and press auto generate ceiling which means I sampled the frequency spectrum. I can save this now as a preset and go to the untreated track and load it in and apply the ceiling to the sound. Sounds nearly identical and this is also how you do EQ matching between several tracks. Now the second way how you will work with this plugin is with the slopes which are over here. You'll see brown, white and pink noise in the list. White noise has every frequency equally loud and brown and pink are just different variations of how the frequency energy is in comparison with white noise. So you see a change in the slope. Pink noise is regarded as the noise which has the most pleasing sounding spread of frequency levels and all other slopes in the plugin are also variations on the slopes of white noise. Let me show you how I will use it on the master bus. You select a slope, pink noise in this case, and I let the entire track play. I freeze the frequency sampling and look at the slope versus the curve. I can either lower the slope or move up the frequency display over here to get a better comparison and go into EQ edit to tweak the master. The pink noise will serve as reference but it doesn't mean your audio has to be a perfect pink noise frequency curve. But by looking at this I will reduce the low end a bit and raise the higher frequencies.
you do need to adjust the volume of Ceilings of Sound Pro after you have done the EQ matching. Which brings me to the bonus tip. If you use AX Mix Monolith in combination with Ceilings of Sound Pro, you will have a very powerful Automix plugin package. Do it like this. Insert one instance of Ceiling of Sound Pro and adjust the EQ like you normally would. Then add Mix Monolith after it and choose one of the many loudness presets which will fit the track. After you have done this with all tracks, let the audio tracks play from front to end with the Learn All Tracks function and press Mix when it's done. You have auto-mixed your audio. Now you can go in and tweak of course. And if you want to learn more on how to use Mix Monolith, you have to watch the video displayed on screen right now. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I will see you in the next video.